all there is to it. What's up guys? Hope you all having a fantastic day as always. This is Drive Through on 5, doing a little product review on a Wi-Fi range extender by Netgear. Uh, here it is. Um, I got good internet in my house, but the range is a little bit not too good, especially when I go outside the house. Um, so I'm gonna try this out and see if um, it improves my internet so I can uh, have Wi-Fi outside the house. This is the Netgear AC750 and the model number is EX3110. I'm supposed to work with any router and um, I think uh, it's easy to install. And here's um, your existing Wi-Fi and this is supposed to like double the amount of uh, range you get with Wi-Fi. Um, when you install this, you're supposed to um, kind of install it where the range of uh, the end range of your current uh, Wi-Fi and then it boosts it about double the area. All right, gotta unbox this bad boy um, carefully in case I gotta um, return it. All right, didn't have to use a knife after all. Just got the sticker off. Let's see what's in the box. Here it is. You just plug this in the wall and do a little uh, procedure to get it started. All there is to it. <laughs> so I'm just opening it up right now, but um, I'm gonna test out the um, Wi-Fi specifically see if I have Wi-Fi outside. Here you can see how they want you to um, put the Wi-Fi extender at like the end range of your current modem or router and then that it extends the range. You don't wanna plug it in somewhere where it's outside the Wi-Fi range. Setting it up is pretty easy. Um, you just press the W, you plug it in, you press the WPS button and then uh, the WPS button will blink, and then you press the uh, WPS button on your router, and then it'll connect, and the WPS button will stop blinking, and it'll be green, solid green like this. And I also have the green light here saying that the router is connected now. So I'm in the kitchen, um, which is close to the bathroom there, and uh, I'm gonna plug it in right here and I'm gonna test out and see if I have internet outside. Before, in the back of the house, I did not have internet, so I'm gonna check it out. This should um, be ready to go, because um, I already set it up before. All right, I plugged it in here. After a few seconds, it connected and shows me all solid green lights, um, and I'm gonna test out if I have Wi-Fi outside. So I got my router modem combo right there in the living room. And just now I installed the Wi-Fi range extender here in the kitchen. So that allows me to have about 30 or more feet extra when I go outside in the back of the house. So I'm gonna do a little test. I'm gonna test the uh, speed test on the modem by itself, um, about in the in the middle, in between both the modem and the uh, Wi-Fi range extender. I'm gonna test the Wi-Fi speed test of the router alone, and then I'm gonna test it of the um, Wi-Fi extender, and I'm gonna see which one uh, does it faster. So here I'm gonna show. Um, what the speed is for the uh, router by itself. And then I'm gonna test the Wi-Fi extender um, and I'm gonna show how fast that is now. I think I'll do that. I'll add uh, the speeds on each one down on the screen there. All right, I'm outside the house. 
right about where my car is and I'm gonna do the speed test here as well so here it is on the bottom of the screen here I'm showing what it's reading outside by my car all right so I'm connected to the um, to the Wi-Fi extender um, it used to be around 100 to 110 um, megabits download speed so we're gonna see what it is now used to be about 100 to 110 92.2 it varies but um reload the page and I run the test again see what it shows up looks like it's a little faster it, yeah it's faster without the extender but um the extender will definitely help for uh, for when I'm outside with my phone or whatnot. Yeah, with the extender slows down the Wi-Fi just a little bit. It was 92.2 for the download speed, and here it's 112.9. So, in summary, the Wi-Fi range extender does what I needed to do, which is uh, have internet in the back of the house. Um, it reduces the um, Wi-Fi speed just a little bit, but not that much, but the benefits outweigh the cost. So I recommend this product. I paid $50 for it at Walmart, and um, I think it's gonna work for what I needed to do. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this.